Hello everyone. In this video, we'll again solve a Pascal question, which is based upon simple ratios. The question is: If a and b are integers of opposite signs, such that a plus three square ratio b square is nine ratio one, and a minus one square ratio b minus one square is equal to four ratio one, then the ratio a square ratio b square is. So first of all, we have been given that a plus three square upon b square is nine ratio one. Which ultimately means that a plus three upon b this will be equal to plus minus three because under root of nine when it is given equal to some variable then we take both signs so plus minus three. For example, if there is a question if he simply asks you find out the value of root nine then you won't be writing plus minus three you will only write three. But if you have been given that x square equal to nine find out the value of x and in that case x will be equal to Plus minus three, so that's the case here. Here also we have a variable in LHS, so that's why it will be equal to plus minus three. So we'll be considering both the cases, plus three minus three. We'll be forming two equations over here. So if I take plus three, then a plus three will be equal to three b, and another equation would be a plus three would be equal to minus three b. These will be the two equations. The another set of equation we'll get it through this one a minus one square ratio b minus one square so a minus one square upon b minus one square it is given as four ratio one again we have a variable in LHS so a minus one upon b minus one it will be equal to plus minus two so one equation formed it will be equal to a minus one will be equal to two b minus one this will give us a minus two b will be equal to Minus one, and if I take minus two in the RHS, I'll be getting a minus. I'll write it over here. A minus one equal to minus two b minus one. So this will give us a plus two b equal to three. So these are the four equations that we'll have. Now, which two equations will be solved together? See, this is equation number one. This is equation number two. This is equation number three, and this is equation number four. Now we cannot solve equation one and two. Why? Because they came out through this same uh, equation, same ratio. So we'll be solving one and three, then one and four. These two we'll be solving, and then we'll be solving two equation two with three, two and three, and then equation two and equation four. Through these we'll be getting four different set of values for a and b. That uh, particular set of values in which a and b will be integers and of opposite signs, th those will be taken. So if I solve one and three, I'll be getting a minus three b equal to minus three, and third equation is a minus two b equal to minus one. So if you solve these two, you'll be getting a equal to three b equal to two. We can see that a b are integers but not of opposite signs. We won't be taking this. Let us. So we are done with this case. Let us solve one and four. So a minus three b equal to minus three a plus two b equal to three. So if you solve these two, you'll be getting b equals to one point two. B is not an integer, so we won't be taking this as well. Let us solve two and three. I'll be removing these two. So equation two is a plus three b equal to minus three, and second equation is a minus two b equal to minus one. So if you solve these two, you'll be getting b equals to zero point four. B is not an integer. This will be gone. Last set of equations will be equation two and equation four. So equation two is a plus three b equal to minus three, and equation four is a plus two b equal to three. So if you solve these two, you'll be getting a equal to fifteen and b equal to minus six. So this is what we want: a b of opposite signs and integers. So here we have the value of a and b. We can find out a square ratio b square. So so we have a ratio b that is equal to fifteen by minus six. Uh, this will be equal to five by minus two, so a square ratio b square will be square of this. So twenty five by four. Option D will be the correct answer to this question. So that is how you have to solve this. You have to keep checking whatever condition is given. This was not tough. If you still have a doubt, please comment. Thank you.